This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. So one of the most important tasks in the world, backing up your machine, it can be kind of a pain if you don't know what to use or what works best for your needs. And you always have to ask yourself all these different questions like, do I want full or incremental backups? Should I back up locally or should I back up, you know, up in the cloud? And it can be really confusing about which uh, program you should use and what item you should do and what things you need to download. So. We have some pretty interesting um, ideas for this. There's a built-in tool now in Ubuntu. Yeah, and I mean, they've like all operating systems for the longest time have always had a built-in tool. I mean, I think even Windows 3.1 had mm -hmm. a built-in tool. Of course, I didn't use it because because you, know, you always want to download the better one, right? Well, yeah. I mean, like Microsoft Briefcase isn't going to be there, yeah. you know, for you. <laughs> um, and, and I also think that one of the other things that comes into account here when you talk mm -hmm. about backups is it's not just you know all of those decisions about if it's an incremental or a full backup, if it's to the cloud or local, but also what it is you're backing up and, yeah. and what kind of security precautions you have to have in those mm -hmm. cases. Do you um, want to encrypt your file? Do you mm -hmm. want to put everything into just like a tar and just back that up somewhere on a cloud? Yes, for, for like some of my stuff, I will, you know, for like my work in progress stuff, mm -hmm. I use Dropbox. Yeah. And for that reason, it's synced amongst my computers. Now, mind you, I use like a GPG archive. Oh, yes, and then, of or, course. <laughs> or even a TrueCrypt volume in there. So it makes it a little bit messier. Yeah. Uh, for other things, I back up locally. Uh, mm -hmm. For a lot of my stuff, from a general day to day, I just use CrashPlan. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's plenty of online backup stuff. But then there's not a lot, so a lot of things that you don't want to back up to the cloud. Um, I, I find cloud most convenient, but I, I just want to throw that yeah. out there. That think about security <laughs> as we like, and we'll probably touch on this when we get into our GPG series here. But uh, yeah, that'll but be fun. I can't wait to start doing Using those volumes that. makes it so easy. Go ahead. So backing up to your Ubuntu machine, it's been made a lot easier recently with um, Deja Dupe. And this is, I believe it's for 11.10 and higher. And it's really, really simple. It's got a really nice GUI to it. And it has rsync on the back end. I'm sure you're probably familiar right. with rsync. Oh, so it's a GUI front end for rsync. Yeah. So that's, again, like I stop looking at the built-in stuff for the operating systems, and then they of get course. cool. Yeah, yeah, now it's gotten cool. <laughs> well, you can do really cool stuff with like rsync over SSH mm -hmm. and then tie in some GPG for your encryption and really right. roll your own. I mean, it's, it's kind of complicated. But uh, so you're saying this is easy? Yeah, it and is. robust? I like so that. So it's, it's just built into the GUI. So um, to find it, it's not called Deja Dupe in the settings. You just have to look for backup. And you have this little tool that looks like a little safe. So for once in my life, the dash was actually useful. Yes! So this is backup. Um, Deja Dupe, and you have your overview, storage, folders, and schedule. Um, they recommend, I did read a little review online, they recommended um, not changing your schedule or not planning an automatic backup until you've already done all your settings. Mm -hmm. Because if you do the automatic backup first, it'll just go ahead and start doing a backup to whatever the right. previous settings were. So you can change your backup location. You know, all, the, all of this is pretty obvious by what you read on, on the screen. Um, it does let you know down here, old backups will be kept until the backup location is low on space. So it automatically so will delete the... older versions. Now, this backup location, mm -hmm. what is this location? Oh, How do I specify that? Well, you can that? change it. <laughs> yeah, well, show me. What is it? Where am I backing up to? So right now, it's just backing up to the um, Shannon Ubuntu PC, or you can do it into Ubuntu 1 if you have that set up. Okay, and so Ubuntu One is like Canonical's version of Dropbox yeah. or Box.net or any yeah, of those. Yeah, and you get like a specific amount for free on their website. I'm pretty sure I did a review of it um, several months ago. And then um, you can also purchase more storage. I'm not seeing the benefit of backing up to your own hard drive yeah. on your own system, unless it's a separate physical disk. Yeah. You know, you hear on a laptop where you've only got one physical disk in there. You, the chances... There's no really good point on backing up locally. So I would definitely either put an external hard drive on here that I'm just planning on you know, keeping somewhere safe uh, or put it onto a cloud. That's why it has the option to say only run the backup when the backup location yeah. is present. Therefore, yep. so if I set it up so that whenever this guy is plugged in, yeah. go ahead and run a backup. <laughs> so you cool. could do that. Um, you can do a custom location. You can also do FTP and SSH. It has both of those nice. settings set in here. 
and then a local folder, but that's kind of pointless, obviously. Unless you like want to back up some kind of encrypted thing and just leave it in your hard drive, I don't know. Well, if you're doing it over SSH, I mean, if it's a, an encrypted volume to begin with, yeah. then you're all good there. And if it's backing up over SSH, then it's secured in transit as well. Yes. And then you've got, you know, two en <laughs> encryptions at the same two, time. Two at the same, oh god, that's kind of like, oh, yeah. whoa, oh, yeah. meta blew oh, my yeah. mind. And then you can choose your uh, folders that you want to back up. The only ones it has in here right now are the home folder for Shannon, and then folders to ignore, which is my trash and my downloads, probably because the downloads and trash have a crap ton of stuff in there that we really don't, don't need. No. But I can choose to add one other oh, You know ones what I would do? I would also that. blacklist your Dropbox folder if you are yes, syncing Dropbox with that you. one takes up a ton of space. And it's it already took me a long up. time to figure that out. And then at the very end, you can choose whatever you want to schedule. So weekly, every two weeks, daily, keep backups for as long as you need to. So you can change that. I do like that they give you that option in case you plan to do like a new backup every year or hmm. something like that. So if, if you do run into that problem, you can always change it in there. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can also choose, if you click back in here, to restore by clicking this restore setting and it's so easy. You just click whatever the thing was that you backed up and then choose forward, sign into your Ubuntu account if you have that and then restore it. So it's very, very simple and I like the fact that it's simple but it's missing a lot of the customizations that you can do. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not you like know, download a, at a certain time of the night or something like that. Well, also, I, I'm seeing here uh, that it's kind of the old school mindset of like, oh, we'll do a nightly backup or yes. a <laughs> weekly backup. Not like a everything is constantly being backed up in yeah. trans, like, you know, instant. Yes. So it has a lot of issues to it, but it is one hey, really I'd, easy built-in option if you need that. Yeah, I'd say uh, that backups built into operating systems have grown leaps and bounds. The <laughs> fact that it doesn't have an option for you to burn them into the CD-ROM or put them on a floppy disk <laughs> means totally a lot agree. to me. I totally agree. So cool. All right. Well, then, I, then there you go. The end. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. So there are other options, too. If, you, if Deja Dupe isn't perfect for you, say you, you want some kind of other alternative, say you're excited about other ones in the GUI or <laughs> in the terminal, um, you can also choose one like um, Backup Manager which is um, free to download. It's, there's no encryption, though, and there's no scheduling in it. OK. Um, there's K backup, though. That, one's cool. that one has, it doesn't have a restore function built in, though. OK, apparently. well, then it probably just does just the files. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the files. And then there's back in time, but that one also doesn't have any encryption built in. Um, Pi backup. That one is a really, really simple interface to use. It has a really nice GUI, so Bet that's... it's a Python, Python program. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. R-Sync, which I'm sure you're familiar with. I love that one. That one's like straight up terminals, so that's yeah. very, that one's very Darren, I, I believe. Well, if you're, not, if you're not so keen on the R-Sync for the terminal, there is a GUI front end for it if you're on yes. GNOME. Yes, and that one is called GR-Sync. It's a total front end, and it stands for GUI R-Sync. Yay. Yay! Cool. Well, it seems like there's a lot of backup options uh, in the open source world. Yeah. And it seems like they've really come there's far away. There's a ton. So you have plenty to choose from. Um, I do want to know what you guys prefer, because I like the backup one, but uh, the Deja Dupe. But you know, it does have some customizations that I'm, I'm kind of missing with it, or it doesn't have those. So I'd like to know what um, you guys prefer. What do you prefer, Darren? R-Sync? Uh, well, I like again, I said it really depends on what the information is and yeah. where you want that. Uh, I do like uh, CrashPlan's ability yeah. to give them, to set your own encryption key. Uh, out of all the and backup Dropbox, services, that's course. the one I use. That, that Dropbox, but are there any I'm concerned specific about. Ones, are there any specific ones for Linux, Linux only, that you use? Uh, none that are Linux only. Oh, OK. Yeah, I try to, whatever my backup strategy is, I really have to think cross-platform because yeah. it is such a, you know, I mean, we all have so many flavors of OSs here in the office. I'm using Windows, Mac, and Linux now. There you go. Yep, I have one PC for each of those. Nice. And then I also have the home theater PC at home, which I just built, and it's awesome. There you go. Now we just <laughs> need to get her an Amiga. Let's stay tuned, because when we get back, we're going to get right into your feedback. Stay tuned. I said that just again. Why? I don't know. Just, just stay tuned. Keep, just keep staying tuned. Yeah. This time of the year, between the holidays, the bad weather, the sick days, everyone is spending time away from the office. Except it's really hard to do that when you work in IT because, well, users always need support, networks always need support, management, well, 
management needs support the most. And that's also why I recommend GoToAssist from Citrix. It ha essentially has these three different components that are all into one easy to use integrated cloud-based platform. Get this. GoToAssist Remote Support lets you provide live or unattended support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere, even from your iPad or Android device for f with their free apps. So you can take time away from the office too. Plus, GoToAssist Monitoring lets you proactively identify those issues before they become a huge fire headache thing from Satan. I know, you don't want that. And you can easily keep track of all of this from GoToAssist Service Desk. I strongly recommend this stuff. I used it when I was a systems administrator and it has saved my bacon. So get this, you can sign up for a special 30-day free trial. All you have to do is go to gotoassist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and then use the promo code HAK5. That's gotoassist.com, promo code HAK5.